Hey there, Falcon fans. This is Paul Freelds, and I'm going to show you a trick to make your analog synthesizers just a little bit richer and more genuine sounding. Now, of course, the analog synths in Falcon sound really good. I have a simple one here. It's just a simple sawtooth wave with a square sub underneath to give it some body. Great. But if we want this to sound a little more genuine, we can use a modulator to slightly detune the keys when we play them. And this mimics the drift that you hear in an older synthesizer or an analog synthesizer whose components may be, you know, maybe lower quality or, you know, even just old. Uh, what happens over time is they can drift a bit and you start getting notes that are a little bit out of tune. Now, one of the ways that I like to do this, there are many ways, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an LFO at the key group level and I'm going to make that a random sample and hold. And what's going to happen normally is that this modulator produces a different value every time the frequency is hit. What we're going to do is we're going to change the frequency to zero. So the new value is only generated when the key is pressed and then never again. And that's great because we don't want this to change while the note is playing. I'm also going to make the depth about 25%. You'll see why in a moment. We're going to relabel this LFO. Let's call it... Uh, oscillator drift. That way we can find it more easily. And what we're going to do is we're going to modulate the pitch with that. So before we modulate the pitch, though, notice that our oscillators right now are unlinked. And I probably want these linked because I want this sound to be detuned the same way. In other words, I want both of these analog components, the sawtooth and the square wave, I want them both to receive the same pitch shifting. So I'm going to link these again, and I'm going to go to the pitch. I'm going to right click this, and I'm going to add a modulation, which is the oscillator drift that we just added. Now, as I play this, notice what happens. That's just a C, but you know, that's really out of tune. That is probably not very usable for something musical, although there may be times that you might want to do something like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change the drift range, and I'm going to move this down to somewhere between 20 and 30 cents. And what was that? About 26 cents. Now notice that I have a depth of 25%. So really what I'm going to get is a total range of about plus or minus six and a quarter cents. Now it sounds pretty reasonable. Great. There's a little bit of variation there, but not a lot. You can probably hear it a little better if I turn the drift off and then play a note and a perfect fifth above it. Totally in tune. Now if we turn the drift back on. Notice how each of those notes is slightly different. And you can probably hear some beating in there, and it almost sounds like a chorusy sound or a flangey sound. It's very subtle, but this is what we're looking for. Now, uh, I can do something like go to my analog synth. I'll, I'll turn the uh, sawtooth wave. I'll raise this to five voices, put the stereo spread on, and I like this detuning and everything where it is. Now, if I play this all together... Very nice. Now it gives it a lot of richness, a lot of body, and a lot of character. I can add my effect rack here, uh, which has got a simple uh, reverb and a delay in it. Very cool. So now that hopefully gives you some ideas for making richer uh, synthesizers of your own. And I hope you can use this in something that you make. And if you do, please share it with the world. And also leave me a like and a comment below. Feel free to subscribe to the channel because I'll be doing more of these later. And if you have suggestions or requests for something that you'd like to see, you know, whether it's a simple tip or something more complicated, please leave that in the comments below and I'll see what I can do. 
And until then, I hope you have a lot of fun with Falcon. I'm Paul Frields, and I'll see you next time.